If you take a wire that carries current and place it inside a magnetic field, it's experimentally found that this wire will experience a force. And in this video, we're going to explore what that force depends on. The first thing we find is that if you increase the strength of the magnetic field, then the force increases. More field, more force. And that makes sense, right? It's the magnetic field that is pushing the current carrying wire. So if you have a stronger field, you get a stronger force. So that makes sense. But we also find that if you have more current, then again, force increases. And again, that kind of makes sense. If there was no current in the wire, there would be no force at all. If there's a little bit current, then there'll be a little bit of force. If there's more current, there'll be more force. Okay, now what if we reverse the direction of the magnetic field? What will happen? Well, it turns out the direction of the force will also reverse. We will not worry about exactly how to find the direction of the force. We'll do that in a separate video. But over here, all that matters is that whatever direction the force was, it will reverse. And the same is the case if you reverse the direction of the current. If you reverse the direction of the current, it turns out that the force will again reverse. So the third feature that we find is that if you d reverse the field or the current, then we find that this force will also reverse. Finally, let's change the angle between the current carrying wire and the magnetic field. So in this case, we have 90 degrees over here, then we'll reduce the angle in the second case, and then third, we'll reduce it all the way to zero. We'll make it parallel. What do you think will happen? Well, experimentally, we find that the force in all the three changes. We find that the force between, the magnetic force is maximum when the angle between them is 90 degrees. When we reduce that angle and make it smaller than 90 degrees, it turns out that the magnetic force decreases. It will keep decreasing eventually when it's parallel to the magnetic field, the magnetic force is minimum, it becomes zero. So the strength of the force not only depends upon the strength of the field and the strength of the current, it also depends upon the angle. You get a maximum force when the angle is 90 degrees and you get zero force when the angle is zero, when they are parallel to each other.